Well, hello friends. I finally finished Nancy's outdoor kitchenette. I thought today we'd just take a little tour and show you the whole thing put together, how it came out. We'll be right back. Well, welcome back. This is the little outdoor um, kitchenette that we we, uh, we we designed and made for Nancy. Uh, this is a little small patio that we had. It's right on the back of our house. And this is our little Florida room right in here. And Nancy's got a, a hutch inside there where she keeps a lot of her cooking stuff in there that she wants to use out here so she can keep that inside out of the weather. So all the stuff that we can store out here, you know, has to be stored in, you know, plastic containers and things like that. But we've got storage available for it. So I just wanted to show you all the uh, parts that we put together uh, for Miss Nancy. On part one, the first video that we did, we, we built this little counter slash uh, table. This is a table that we can um, use to sit and eat. So it's at the right height for sitting and eating. And Nancy also wants to use that as a countertop when she's doing um, canning and stuff like that where she needs a lot of space. So it, it, it kind of has a dual purpose, but um, it's a nice little table for her to do um, what she needs to do when she's canning. And out on the front of the table, um, Nancy wanted to put a little grow table out there so she can grow some herbs out there. So if you take a look right out in the front, she's got a, um, a little raised grow, grow table that she can uh, grow all kinds of little herbs in her clay pots and she can water it right there. We've got a, um, a water source conveniently located right there for her so she can um, maintain and water and care for her uh, herbs. That way she can use them while she's cooking out here. Just It's very convenient just to walk out there and pick some fresh herbs and go to work with them. So she's real happy about that. So that's how that was what we covered on part one on the video and part two we built together this uh, little combination sink and countertop and uh, Nancy did the hard part on this one for me she she assembled the uh, the faucet it was is is complicated little thing for me she she went right through it but she had she picked that out that's what she wanted on her sink so we got her hooked up i got her a water supply ran over it comes right out of the house so it's potable water um, to that sink so she can use it to cook with i didn't want to run irrigation water over here this is this is potable water straight out of the house so she's got water to the sink uh, below the sink, we've got a, um, you know, a small amount of storage where she can store items under there that she, she wants to keep out here. It's convenient to her. She hasn't really started loading all this stuff up yet, but she's working on it. But anyway, this was a, a, a fun little build that we did together on part two of the video. And Nancy's ready to, um, to use this sink. In fact, she's already used it a few times, uh, gathering stuff up out of the garden and, um, making salads and things like that out here so that's it's pretty fun already so anyway there's that was part two of our video and part three of this mini series was this um this is a counter and a storage cabinet co combination um what she wants to keep out here inside of this uh below inside of this cabinet is her um uh, her big old um pressure cooker pot she's got two humongous pressure cookers that she's going to use for canning so she's going to keep those inside here and um, when they're when she's ready to use them she can just set them right up here on top of this and go to work or over there where however she decides to do it but anyway th this is her uh, storage unit for her um, canning pressure cookers and also a countertop up here for whenever she's cooking or harvesting or cleaning things, or whatever she wants to do with it, it's set up for. But anyway, um, she's also got her little smoker out here, her little, her little grill that she always does stuff with. Whenever she cranks that thing up, it's always going to be something good to eat. So I love it when she does those, those fried tur air fried turkeys in here. So anyway, that's her little um, infrared grill. And uh, we got a little piece of deck that I added on the edge of the um, 
on the edge of the patio so when you walk out it's kind of a smooth transition out into the yard if you, if you walk so you don't have to just step straight off of the patio i think it just added a little bit to it but anyway i stuck that on for her. she didn't really want that uh, I, I surprised her with it so she's real pleased that i put it on there but anyway this is just the um the little outdoor kitchenette and nancy's really looking forward to bringing you some uh, some new cooking recipes. She's going to be pulling things right out of our garden. Our garden's coming together now little by little. So in the days ahead, you'll be seeing um, Nancy go out and harvest things and come right here in this kitchenette and make up a real cool recipe and cooking video for you. So we're looking forward to that. But anyway, I thank you for watching with us all the way through this little series. I hope it gave you a little fun and some inspiration on something you may want to do in your own backyard or your own homestead. And I hope that our videos brought a smile to your face and a little peace to your heart for your day. So until me and Nancy always see you next time, always remember, by us hands we are fed. Give us, Lord, our daily bread. Amen. Have a blessed day.